Hey everyone, how you doing? So I would like to make available here a PDF that uh, deals specifically with moving energy through your hands. Of course, this is going to correlate with the technique of grounding yourself to the Earth's core so that you can pull energy from below through the ground and above within your morphogenic chakras above your head and through the body and throughout your hands. So we're going to focus a little bit on this. Lately, I have been looking at my hands in a state of wonder. I mean, that's really the word, wonder. It's amazing. So it's important to know that life force currents are running in our body and the planetary body at all times. So consciousness, it's important to understand that consciousness is the foundational reality and is the ultimate resource that greatly impacts all of creation. I'm going to digress just a little bit. The sound and light techniques. One of the things that I emphasized during that series or when I was trying to communicate about that technique or techniques is the conscious intention behind what you're doing. It's not about pushing a button or waiting around for somebody else to do something to you. That's not a good idea to begin with. But it's to be understood that, that your conscious intention is the catalyst behind everything and anything. Consciousness is the foundational reality. Why? We are in a source consciousness field. Consciousness is the ultimate resource that, of course, greatly <laughs> impacts all of creation. So, the hands, right? The chakras, vortices in our body and within our hands interacts directly with the life force currents and may be used to direct these currents. Okay, so what are vortices? They are counter-rotating electrical and magnetic fields. So these vortices may be polarized to draw energy into a center as a magnetic vortex and then to transmit energy outwardly as an electrical vortex. So the, re the right hand sends energy out through the palm and draws it in through the back of the hand. The left hand has the opposite polarity, receiving energy through the palm and sending it through the back of the hand. Okay, let's take a look again at the right hand and left hand. The right hand is electrical, okay? The left hand is magnetic. Vortices, remember? Electrical and magnetic counter-rotating fields. So you've heard the expression, the in-breath and out-breath of God, right? So what is that? The in-breath is contracting, inhaling. That's contracting. What is that? That's magnetic. Okay? In this context, it's magnetic. And then the exhale, what is that? That's electrical, right? Expanding energies. So, electrical also referring here as being transmitting, expanding the out-breath, the left hand contracting, inhaling, magnetic, right? All right, it's important to know these things, kind of demystify it. 
Sometimes we get caught up in the poetry and not really know what the poet or not really know what the poem is about, if you know what I'm saying. So there's a technique to seal the frequency in our hands to transmit high frequency current as safely and purely as possible. Now this technique has been around for a long time. It's ancient, okay? It's part of our human heritage. And this particular technique is described in the Kathara Level 1 manual. Okay, so if you don't have that manual and you would like it, all you have to do is contact me through my website. Um, you can find on my website my email address. You can contact me directly there and I'll send it to you, okay? So here's the technique. If we place our left palm over the back of our right hand, we seal both of the incoming vortices, okay? Then we can direct life force currents down our arms, into our hands, and throughout the right palm vortex without drawing extraneous energies in from the environment. So we're creating a clean channel. How is it that we are creating a clean channel? Well, the right hand is what? It's electrical expanding energy, right? And the left hand is magnetic, it's contracting, right? So when you take the left hand and you put it over the right hand, what are you doing? You're creating a counter-rotating field like a Merkaba. Again, it's important to know how things work and why they work the way that they work. But your intention with what you do with the energy, that is a biggie. You know, it's not, a, it's not like pushing buttons or something just because you do the mechanics it just certain things are supposed to happen well certain things do happen but you have to direct it okay so working from our highest level of conscious connection all right that's that's the priority here we can breathe in to draw balanced streams of primal life force current into our body okay Again, emphasizing the breath, right? What What is that? Okay, All right. We can draw this down from higher dimensional connecting points above our head. This is our morphogenic chakras, right? Above our head and up through our feet from the earth's core. Again, this is in reference to grounding. The earth's core is what? That is the earth Maharic shield. That's from which we connect or ground, which allows us to be able to draw from above us. And how, what kind of connection are we making here? Once you learn how to do the Maharic Shield, it can happen really fast. And that's what's happening. And that's really the reason for it, is to be able to direct primal life force currents for the earth, for healing, for restoration for others, for the benefit of all life. Because what we're looking at when we see the Maharic shield, we're talking about the 12D blueprint current for regeneration, right? For eternal life. So we can draw these currents along our spinal column. All right, so once we do that, we we bring it into a center point. And that center point is known as the Azure. Now the Azure is located just at the top of our sternum. So think of your armpits, okay? And at the very top of your armpits and then draw a line from one armpit to the other across your chest. And right there in the center, X marks the spot. That's the Azure. Current is spiraling. Everything's spiraling. <laughs> yeah. So we can then breathe out to send. What is what is what is that? 
breathing out, expanding energy. These currents horizontally, which is what? Electrical, right? Okay. We can breathe out to send these currents horizontally out to and down our arms into our hands. There's some other things that I have within this PDF that, you know, if you want the PDF, all you have to do is contact me through my website or again through the email that's provided on my website and just ask for it. Okay, so the axial tonal lines and axial tonal alignment, balance of polarity to neutrality. Okay, so what is neutrality? Well, if we look at the part of chi and the part of cum and part of K, okay, but the part of chi is a neutral buffer field. So this is what we're referring to. That's the point of neutrality. And so the magnetic is also known as the ERA. The part of K is, <coughs> excuse me, referred as the uh, MANE. And the part of chi is referred to as the MANU. So we're talking about MANU. So that's when we're talking about the MANU and the combination of the tri-unity, not the bi-unity, but the tri-unity, uh, we have a tri-wave, okay? So there is a little technique that you can utilize here. And I did this when I was out in the sun. I was sitting outside and closed my eyes and looked at the sun and did this. The left hand represents what? Magnetic, right? The ear ray. So if, what does that also represent? It's one part of a counter-rotating field. <laughs> which you find within the Merkaba. So on the right hand, you're going to have the electrical. So the left hand is a counterclockwise rotation. So you take your left hand and you rotate it counterclockwise. At the same time, you're taking the right hand and rotating it clockwise. Okay. And I closed my eyes, looked at the sun, was doing this, and I could feel that polarity become balanced. Of course, conscious intention has a lot to do with it, folks. I'm telling you, <laughs> it really does. But um, it's an interesting little technique. Uh, also included on this page is the tones in relationship to the dimensional bands or consciousness bands and also the associated um, mind in relationship to those consciousness bands such as the example d1 conscious which is the subconscious mind d2 the instinctual mind three reasoning mind d4 astral mind d5 archetype mind which means original for the angelic human then uh, D6, which is the angelic mind, which is full integration, reintegration of the soul. Now, the axial tonal lines, as you can see, now this runs throughout the entire body the same way. Down your right leg, it's going to be the same as your right hand and so on and so forth. Your toes, and, yeah. And the vertical column in the center is known as the Hara line, which is the 11th dimensional consciousness, which contains also within it the 12 dimensional consciousness. If you look at where the um, dimensional bands relate to the fingers and thumbs, this helps you to be able to memorize it a bit easier, okay? This is just for the purpose of memorization. If you look at the right hand, which is the electrical, right? Clockwise rotation. <laughs> you look at the pinky, that is the third dimensional band, right? And if you want to know what tone that is, you just go down the page a little bit and you can see it's a uh, related tone. I, I find this will be important later on down the road as you start to utilize and um, direct current. Okay, so pinky on the right hand is the third dimensional band. And then you look at the pinky on the left hand and you can see that's four. So three, four, 
then know that the next one is six, then you'll know the next one, that will be seven. So it's going up, right? Going from right to left. Three, four, six, seven, nine, ten, two, and one. That's in, obviously in reverse. And then the thumbs on the left hand is fifth, and on the right hand is eighth. I'm just saying this is an easy way to memorize it, okay? Helps you memorize it a lot easier. And then you can go, once you have that memorized, you can take a look at the color associated with the tones, and again, also the, the associated consciousness band or the mind, okay? So there's other charts here that you've already seen and I've already made them available for, before in other PDFs, but I thought I would include them within this PDF because it's just, it's relative, okay? Um, again, the universal life force currents, level two, cathar, crystal seals, and grid, it's chakras, you know. That's, uh, that's something I included also within this because it was necessary because it fit in with what everything else that was being communicated. So I think this is probably the better overall. Once you get past a certain stage, it's, this is probably the, the best reference um, PDF to go to. And of course, the planetary biofeed interface system Without this, we couldn't do anything. Um, <sighs> technique six, which is the quick Maharic seal. This is probably the most condensed quick Maharic seal version. A lot of clarity in this, the graphics and the way it's laid out. It's very easy to understand and go through. And again, to emphasize you ought to do this on your own and not to be listening necessarily to guided sessions when you're when you're dependent on a guided session you're literally depending on it when you can do it yourself you can take your time and you're the ones making it happen so you're going to you know you're going to want you're going to need to do this on your own anyhow so you might as well just start out this way instead of just being guided by somebody I think it's better if you do it this way. Because once you once you get it down, once you know what it is, and you understand the steps, you can just go through it like within seconds. You know, you can just breeze right through it. And that's really the whole point. Because there's you no know, limitation to your ability, how quickly you can do things or how slowly you want to do them. You know, either way, it's all good. All right, folks, that's it. That's it for this. Um, so this is going to be made of, well, I'm going to tell you what, I'm not going to post this on my website. I don't think unless somebody asks me to do that, I'll just make it available to you. How's that? All you have to do is contact me through, um, well, just take the email address from my website and contact me directly that way and ask for this. Again, this is called hands are like quantum transmitters and sensors. Okay, that's what I'm going to title this. So, because the emphasis here for me is, is the hands. It just, hands are, it's just such a wonder. It just, yeah, it's pretty much it. I don't know how else to uh, communicate how I feel about it. It's just amazing. So anyhow, all right, folks, blessings to you. Thank you so much. Mom. Oh, oh.